An off-center toroid like this one can be accomplished using sweep. The key to this technique is the use of a circular path along with a guide curve. I'll begin by creating a circular sketch. This will become the path for the sweep. Next, I'll create a second sketch on the same plane and sketch another circle. The center points of the circles will have a horizontal relation. So far, I have one sketch that will be used as a sweep path and a second sketch that will be used as a guide curve. The final sketch I'll need is a profile for the sweep. This can be created on any plane that's normal to the sketch plane of the circles. Since I sketched the circles of the top plane, I can create the profile sketch on either the front or right reference planes. I'll start a new sketch on the front plane and sketch a circle. I'll also place a single sketch point along the circumference of the circle. To position the circle, I'll add a pierce relation between the center point of the circle and the larger circle I sketched earlier. I'm also going to add a pierce relation between the sketch point and the smaller circle. This fully defines the profile sketch. I'll exit and launch the sweep feature. The profile of the sweep will be the smallest circle. The path will be the largest circle. And the inner circle will be a guide curve. I'll click OK and the off-center toroid is complete. As long as the path of the sweep remains a circle, the guide curve can be changed to produce some interesting results. I'll use undo to get rid of the sweep. I'll roll back before the profile sketch and start a new sketch on the top plane. At this time, I'll use a spline to create a freeform shape. I'll exit the sketch and roll forward to bring back the profile sketch. Now keep in mind that the profile sketch is still defined using the old circular guide curve. I'll have to break this relation and create a new relation to the freeform guide curve. To do this, I'll edit the profile sketch and delete the Pierce relation tying the sketch point to the old guide curve. I'll add a new Pierce relation between the sketch point and the new freeform guide curve. I'll exit the sketch, and since I won't be using the old guide curve, I can delete it to avoid confusion. I'll recreate a sweep using the same profile and path sketches as before, but this time I'll use the freeform shape as a guide curve. I'm not sure how useful this particular shape is, but the technique used to create it can certainly come in handy. By using a circular path and combining it with a guide curve, you can essentially create complex revolves where both the shape and axis of rotation can be controlled. Here's another example employing this same technique. Both the profile and guide curve use splines to create complex shapes, but the sweep path is still a simple circle.